Mr. Beast, the biggest creator on YouTube, if not the whole internet. And of course, everyone know his thumbnails. They probably going to write books about them in the future. Just kidding. This is my very first video and for it I decided to do something no else has ever done. I'm going to try completely recreate a Mr. Beast thumbnail. <laughs> Lol. I will show you exactly how I would approach this design. Today you will see the entire creation process, so I hope you like it. Your support is really important since this is my first video. Alright, let's not waste any time, let's go! Ok, let's start by creating a new project, just copy my settings here. I choose the specific thumbnail, it's perfect for a full breakdown and recreation. Now we need to start putting together the composition and gathering the elements we will use. Next let's add the grandstand that will sit behind the car. I found something similar, it will be blurred anyway and the AI will help complete the look. After all that I needed to find the animal. A cheetah would be good sure, but I have the better idea. This one. This is my favorite. It's look awesome. Simply fire. <laughs> I decided to change the racing car photo. ChatGPT have a much better result, so we'll stick with that. Don't forget to always try different AI tools to achieve the best result. Now we need to separate out cute little dog from the background. For this I'm using this Chinese website. I saw it in Buddy's video, so shout out you buddies. Everything here is in the Chinese, but it's actually super intuitive. So if you don't understand, just follow along with what I'm doing. Now let's quickly select our racing car. Select subject tool handles this perfectly. And already it's starting to look somewhat similar to the original. Next let's bring myself into the thumbnail. I will position myself and add a basic shape around me. Now I'm going to quickly process myself. To save your time and to keep the option open for a future video on retouching and processing, I won't explain the full process now. It would take too long. The retouching is complete. You can compare the before and after. Now our main task is to add shadows. Shadows are essential for realism. They help blend the objects into the overall composition and add volume. Next we need to add shadows from straps. To do this we make a copy of the layer with command or ctrl J. Then we choose filter, blur, gaussian blur and set it to 30. We slightly shift uh, the position down, since so, this is the main shadow. Then we duplicate this layer, set the blur to 3 and move it a bit closer to the original. Because this is a small sharp shadow and it need to be closer. Finally we set the opacity to 30 and we are done. Now it's crucial to add light. We are adding it to the edge of the car, which helps blend the car into the sun, giving it realism and volume. We will do the same with the light on me. Now we process out adorable little dog in camera roll. I decided to slightly adjust my position in the car to improve the composition and make it more realistic. And now let's process out racing bullet. We'll make it brighter, more contrasted, just like the original. Now I'm processing out cute duck, adding shadows, coloring its mount and making the eyes look better. I'm adding light and shadows to complete the look. Almost finished it. All that's left is to add the AI, final touch and the thumbnail is complete. Finally. Let's take a look at my version versus the original Mr. Beast thumbnail. It looks pretty awesome and of course hit the like button for the cute Chihuahua. 
I hope you enjoyed the process. I'll see you next time. Psst. Don't forget to check the description for the free PSD template.